बायट से वाटला वॉट इज द बायट से वाटला अकॉर्डिंग टू द करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर प्रिंसिपल आर अकॉर्डिंग टू द आयर स्टेड प्रिंसिपल Induced magnetic field is produced around the current carrying conductor. Around the conduct current carrying conductor, whenever induced magnetic field is produced, that magnetic field can have both magnitude and direction. The magnitude can be calculated by the magnitude of the magnetic field can be calculated by two laws. First one. अंपियर सर्क्यूट सैकंड वन बयट से रईट आलरे वी हव डक अंपियर सर्क्यूट नव वी वाट टू डिस्क बयट से नव देर इज एक्सा कंडक्टर दिस कंडक्टर कंडक्ट रईट नव दट जिग्जा कंडक्टर इज रेप्रजेंटेड बै ए बी रईट वाट इज द लेंथ ऑफ द कंडक्टर एल इज देंथ ऑफ द कंडक्टर right now through which well, how much is the current passing this is the i around this zigzag conductor no doubt there is a magnetic field at a particular point let us consider there is a point p right what is the strength of the magnetic field in order to calculate the strength of the magnetic field at the point b right now the total length is divided into number of infinitesimal parts here number of in infinitesimal part that is there is a small part dl bar through which the current is passing now from this small length element the point p is at a distance of small r is at a distance of small r now now what is the direction the direction the direction of the length element the direction of length element is making an angle theta with respect to the line joining between length element to the point where we are calculating the magnetic field induction now let us consider right ab is the zigzag conductor of length l through which the i is the current passing through it around this zigzag current carrying conductor there is a magnetic field the magnetic field at a point p we want to calculate now in order to calculate the magnetic field at the point b the total length of the conductor is divided into number of infinitesimal parts the one part is represented by dl right this is called length element from the dl right from the dl the line joining between the dl and what to say the point p is represented by r now therefore due to the length element due to the right due to the length element as due to the length element length element means small length due to the length element right a small length here due to the length element the current is passing therefore it is called what to say current element due to current element due to the current element the magnetic field induction the magnetic field the magnetic field induction the magnetic field induction right at the point p at the point p at the point p is given by what to say db bar now here let us consider this is a zigzag conductor what is the length l is the length l is the length now let us consider there is a small length 
the small length is represented by dl but whenever the current is passing whenever the current is passing then this term is known as what to say current element due to a small current element due to this small current element at the point p which is at a distance of small r the magnetic field is represented by db therefore we are calculating the magnetic field induction due to the small current element right now that db is directly proportional to the current passing through the conductor now that db is directly proportional to the length of the current element that is called what to say dl now that db is directly proportional to the sin theta what is theta here the angle between current element the angle between current element to the line joining between the current element to the point p next this db is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between current element to the point p what is the distance here r what is the square of the distance here r square now db is inversely proportional to the r square now on combining all therefore db is directly proportional to i dl sin theta by r square now that is db is equals to some constant mu naught by 4 pi into i dl sin theta by r square therefore db is equals to the therefore db is equals to write mu naught by 4 pi into i dl sin theta by r square where where what is mu naught mu naught by 4 pi is equals to 10 to the power of minus 7 henry per meter right now here due to the small current element the magnetic field induction is directly proportional to the current passing through the conductor the magnetic field induction is directly proportional to the length of the current element this db is directly proportional to the sin angle between the current element to the line joining between the current element to the point p where magnetic field induction is calculated now that magnetic field induction is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between current element to the point p on combining all db is directly proportional to i dl sin theta by r square therefore as the proportionality is coming into equals to db is equals to mu naught by 4 pi into i dl sin theta by r square now therefore this db this is the expression for the magnetic field induction due to the right current carrying current element now here due to the small length element due to the small current element the magnetic field induction but right the total magnetic field the total magnetic field total magnetic field magnetic field right at a point p at a point p right the total magnetic field at a point p due to due to hole zigzag conductor is given by is given by therefore that is db a small magnetic field due to the current element now i want to get the total total can be had by integrating therefore b b is equals to integration of db therefore b is equals to integration of integration of db is equals to mu naught mu naught by 4 pi into 
i dl sin theta by r square now this is what to say the mathematical expression of byatt savartala now therefore generally this is called what to say scalar form this is called what to say scalar form therefore b is equals to integration of that is mu naught by 4 pi that is right i dl sin theta by r square this can be multiplied by r and this can be divided by r therefore what we can say now mu naught by 4 pi is getting common into i is also getting common integration of that is dl into r sin theta by what to say r cube therefore now i is also getting common out therefore v is equals to mu naught by 4 pi into that is i i that is closed integral dl bar cross r bar that is cross product the cross product dl bar cross r bar by r cube therefore this is the vector form of what to say by at sevatla now here in this case the scalar form b is equals to mu na integration of mu naught by 4 pi i dl sin theta by r square in the vector form b is equals to mu naught i by 4 pi in integration of dl bar cross r bar r cube now here in this case this db is inversely proportional to the square of the distance this db is inversely proportional to the square of the distance that means it is similar to the coulomb law now see we can compare so now the see we can compare here electrostatics electrostatics next what to say magnetostatics magnetostatics right in the electrostatics right for a stationary charge around the stationary charge we want to calculate electric field intensity right here in the magnetism in the magnetism right because of what to say ideal right we want to calculate magnetic field induction now in the electrostatics in the magnetostatics in the electrostatics that is we want to calculate electric field intensity in the magnetic in the magnetostatics we want to calculate magnetic field here electric field is the source of the charge q now charge is what to say scalar right now electric field is produced by the charge which is a scalar quantity now the magnetic field is produced by ideal this is called a vector quantity right electric field is there magnetic field is there in the electrostatics we can calculate electric field intensity in the magnetostatics we can calculate the magnetic field induction this electric field what is the source of the electric field charge is the source of the electric field now charge is a scalar quantity therefore magnetic field what is the source of the magnetic field ideal is the source of the magnetic field here ideal is a vector quantity now in the electrostatics what are the fundamental laws what to say coulomb law coulomb law and what to say gauss law in the magnetostatics there is a what to say ampere circuit law ampere circuit law next byatt savartala byatt savartala right in the electrostatics whatever the relation between coulomb law and gauss law 
in the magnetic statics there is a relation between what to say biot severs law and ampere circuit law what is the statement of gauss law the flux is equal to that is closed integral of e dot dl right e bar dot ds bar is equal to q by epsilon naught ampere circuit law that is b bar dot dl bar line integral is equal to mu naught i therefore in the electrostatics right coulomb law is there gauss law is there in the magnetostatics biot severs law is there ampere circuit law is there whatever the relation between coulomb law and gauss law in the electrostatics there is a same relation between biot severs law and ampere ampere circuit law in the magnetostatics right now compare electric field magnetic field source charge source that is current element right here coulomb law is similar to the biot severs law gauss law is similar to the ampere circuit law that is coulomb law is inversely proportional to the square of the distance and biot severs law is inversely proportional to the square of the distance now here we are defining what you say electric flux here we are defining the magnetic flux closed integral of e dot ds that is closed line integral of b dot dl is equal to here mu naught i here q by epsilon naught therefore this is the analogy between electrostatics and the magnetostatics therefore here biot severs law therefore b is equals to clo b is equals to integration of mu naught by 4 pi i dl sin theta by r square whereas in the vector form b is equals to mu naught i by 4 pi integration of dl bar cross r bar by r cube which is a vector form 